Army's Central Identification Laboratory sends teams all over the world to find the remains of service members who are missing or unaccounted for. Working in some of the world's most remote locations, the teams work tirelessly to ensure that they recover every piece of evidence. But two decades after the Vietnam War, crash sites are far from intact. Villagers have scavenged whatever they could find a use for. This piece of wreckage from a downed American airplane is being used as a blade for a plow. And now that plow may be hundreds of miles from where the plane actually went down. Seal High teams work closely with local villagers who might remember the crash or may have discovered some wreckage. The goal? To try to pinpoint the exact location of the crash. She said she, she saw 13 people. She personally counted 13 people uh, that morning. The team compares the information they receive from the villagers with detailed maps prepared at Seal High to determine the coordinates of the probable crash site. Global positioning systems fix their exact position as they trek sometimes for miles toward the site. Head on it, right in the middle of it. Once the excavation is set up, work begins to find and clear the area of any ammunition. The work requires patience right. and precision and can be extremely Good. dangerous. Beauty! Okay, move on back. Live 40 millimeter shells litter this C-130 crash site. Once they are located, they have to be carefully removed and carried to a safe distance where they will be disposed of later. Clues at the crash site come in different shapes and sizes. When a plane crashes, artifacts and remains bear the unmistakable scars of the 600 mile per hour impact. Large guns are buried by the force of the crash. The plane is literally torn apart. Pieces of the fuselage are scattered in all directions. It's a helmet. Microphone is something crack. The flyer's helmet. Deep in the jungle, another Seal High scouting team uncovers a button from a flight suit. Then, further digging reveals a remnant of fabric from the suit beneath the dense jungle foliage. In a high-tech war, soldiers are mangled by their machines. Finding an intact skeleton in Vietnam would be inconceivable. So every fragment is a vital clue. The most significant finds are human bones and teeth. All the remains found in Vietnam are brought back to the Seal High Laboratory in Hawaii for analysis. Sometimes, all the forensic scientists have to work with are mere fragments. From these, they must piece together whether they are human, and if so, the individual's age, race, height, weight, and ultimately, their name. To date, Seal High has positively identified 570 unaccounted for service members from World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and returned the remains to their families. Thank you.